well guys in today's video we are going to fly this uh, twin engine rc plane yeah that's right but this video is quite different as compared to my other videos because in this video we are going to install some electronics uh, in this plane that you might have seen in the thumbnail or i'll place them right here this video is going to be a tutorial video for easy understanding i'm going to divide this video in three sections in first section we are going to talk about the electronics in second section we are going to connect all those electronics and in third section we are going to calibrate the main flight controller board which is apm 2.8 in my case we have mission planner software so before that i would like to clear one thing the electronics that i am using are kind of outdated they work absolutely brilliant well this video is not sponsored by flying machines rc aviation the reason why i'm wearing this cap is just because i love to buy all my stuffs from their site you should check that site i'll put link in the description box let's talk about the electronics that i'm going to use here so as one can see the list of electronics on the screen so i'm going to discuss about all these electronics one by one the first thing is first that is flight controller so here i'm using apm 2.8 flight controller you guys can also use pixoft flight controller for better performance well apm also works great but you will need to buy it from trusted seller in my case i bought all this stuff from flying machines rc version link is in the description you guys can check that out the second thing is gps here I am using 7M GPS module. Well, if you don't have a GPS module, then you won't be able to use some GPS based modes like RTL, 5RB, and many more. The next thing that I have is telemetry. Here I am using 100 milliwatt telemetry. The next thing is a power module, which is used to power the flight controller board and it measures some parameters like battery voltage, current, etc. Well next I have some basic electronics which are generally used in RC planes. I will explain about them later. Ok so now let's start to install all this stuff. Let's start with the wings. As I told you guys this is a twin engine plane so here I am using these two 1000 kV BLDC motors and I am using 30 ampere Simon key ACs. I have already extended the main wires and I have connected them in parallel combination. Five minutes later. Okay, now let's do some wiring. This is the back side of our wing. Okay, so this plug is for the right ESC and this one is for the left one and these two plugs are for the servos. So I'm going to control both the motors just by using a single channel and in order to do so I'm using this thing. This is known as Y cable which is basically used to connect both of these plugs in parallel combination. Okay, you can see I did same thing for the servos also. Okay, now let's move on towards the fuselage. Here one can see I have already installed the servos for the elevator and rudder. I have made this little compartment for the flight controller and rest of the electronics. Okay, so as you can see everything is neatly arranged and now it's time to connect all this stuff. As you can see so many ports here on this flight controller board. This one is for the GPS, there is another port here that is for the compass. This port is for the telemetry and that one is for the power module. Okay, so let's connect them to this flight controller.
okay so next thing that I have is this receiver this is FSI 66 channel receiver okay so we are going to connect this thing on this flight controller on the input side of this flight controller with the help of this jumper cable Now it's time to connect the main motors and servo motors on the output channel of the flight controller board. So channel number 4 is for the rudder, third one is for the throttle, second one is for the elevator and first one is for the ailerons. Now it's time to calibrate the flight controller via mission planner software. Link is given in the description box, from there you can download the software. After that just connect your flight controller to your PC via USB cable and then just open the mission planner software. Ok on the top right corner one can see the options available for COM ports. From there just select the appropriate COM port. Well if you don't know at which COM port your flight controller board is connected then just click on the auto option. After that click on the connect button just to make sure that you have selected the correct COM port. After that disconnect your flight controller board and go to initial setup. Click on the install firmware option. Here one can see there are so many options available like Arduino Copter, Rover, Heli etc. So just click on the Arduino Plane option and click OK. Now this process shall take some time if your internet connection is not good. So once the firmware is installed then just click on the connect option. Ok here as you can see I have Arduino plane version 3.4.0 on the flight controller board. Ok then just go to the initial setup there you can see two options. First one is mandatory and second one is uh, optional hardware. So mandatory means they are compulsory. Ok then just click on the actual calibration and follow my steps. After that just click on the compass option. There you will find two options internal compass and external compass. External compass means the compass which comes with the GPS module. I'm going to select the external compass and then just click on the live calibration option. Well, compass calibration should have to be done in open areas free from electric wires and metals. The next option that we have is radio calibration. Then just click on the radio calibration option and move all the sticks and switches available on your transmitter to their extreme limits. The next option is ESC calibration. Well I like to go with the normal method that most of the people use for ESC calibration. If you don't know how to calibrate your ESC then just google it. Now the next option that we have is flight modes. But before that we will need to select the channel through which we are going to change the flight modes. So then just go to configurations and full parameter list and type FT in the search box. So there you can see one option is there known as FT mode here that means white mode cha channel. So here I have selected the fifth channel on my transmitter to which I am going to change the flight modes. So guys here I am using this FSI 6 transmitter and I am going to use the switch known as SWC which is basically a three position switch for changing the flight modes. So then just go to the setup and click on the auxiliary channels and there you can see channel number 5 and the source is SWB so just change it to SWC and along press the cancel button to save that option and now we are ready to change the flight modes. So guys in this video I have not covered few topics related to the power module and telemetry which I will cover in the upcoming videos.
Hello well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe my channel for more such amazing videos. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye. <laughs>